So another thing that a lot of people ask me about is using the swivel to help capture the video and the audio while doing a live stream. So I want to show you how to do that uh, using Google Hangouts on Air. So what you want to do is make sure that you um, have the iPad that you'll be using. In this case, I have the Teaching and Learning Swivel iPad. Um, and so I'll show you a, an example of how that works. So once you have the Hangout on Air um, open, and this can be done before you start broadcasting, you want to go to Invite People, and you're going to invite the uh, Google account that is on the iPad that you're using. In this case, we have the Teaching and Learning iPad, which has the Swivel um, Google account. And so if you're using the Teaching and Learning iPad, you can use this account. So it's swivel at kenisd.org. And you just click on that and click on Invite. And if I go to my iPad here, you may even be able to hear it. It shows up that I have an incoming video call. So I just tap on that and it will open up and you can see me. Oh, and an echo. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. So you can see that it works uh, on the iPad and that I am now... Um, you can view me. I'm going to mute it here. So you'll see that I actually pop up um, if I turn on my audio here. So you can see me uh, on the iPad screen. So this is what's being shown to people. If I were live streaming right now, uh, they would see the video from the iPad versus the um, computer. Now, some people like to have maybe this video small, like in the corner, and they want to show their screen um, in the larger window. So the way that you can do that, if you look on the uh, Google Hangouts screen here, this Can I SD, that's me on this computer. And so, oh, sorry, no, this one's me right here. So if I click on this, it will actually override what is seen in the live stream and will show my um, screen, like if I'm sharing my screen right now, which I'm not, um, but if I were sharing my screen, it would show my screen um, as the main video feed, and then it would show, you can see me in the corner there still. So that's how you would probably want to do your live stream, is that you're sharing your screen on one computer, and you want to make sure that the microphone is muted on that computer, and that you're actually pulling the audio from the um, swivel iPad. Um, now, one of the drawbacks of this is that you will not be able to hear the audience um, if they are also in this Hangout. So some people actually invite others to join the Hangout this way so you can actually see them. You will not be able to hear them because the audio is going to the iPad. Um, so you would want to use the chat feature in the live stream. Um, so hopefully this gives you an idea of how um, to set up the live stream and use Swivel to capture your video um, and audio.